This is my Limit 1 Festival Phantom Knights deck. Now again, important note for Limit 1 Festival, our collections are not the same. So it's very possible you cannot make the same deck as I do, and I probably can't make the same deck as you do. You should use this as a guideline to get your own deck started, but it's very possible that maybe like 10% of the deck will be completely different because you simply don't own a given card. No worries about that. If you have any cool ideas though for this deck, do put it in the comments down below. Maybe I do own the card you thought of. So we start off with our Veiler. Very important note, I've been saying this in a lot of the videos so far, we are playing weaker hand traps because there's only so many hand traps in this format. So we have the one Veiler and the one Droll for this reason, even though usually they don't make the cut. Next we have Maxi, this will always make the cut. Then we have Junk Forward, a level 3 extender, because as you know, if we can make a Cherubini, we have combo. Next we have one Tour Guide. Yeah, I magically crafted one Tour Guide just for this event. Wouldn't you know it? Really, really awesome card that gets the whole combo started by herself. Kage Mucha Knight, another level 3 extender. Graf and Seer, these are the reason that Tour Guide makes a combo by herself, but also makes your Cherubini combo much, much better. Next, we have our Speedroid Terror Top. This is another level 3 extender. I am not running the other Speedroid card with it because I do not like my odds of drawing into that, but if you want to run it, go ahead. Next, we have Cloak and Boots. Of course, this deck, you do have to really watch out with your resources now because you can't just afford to banish Nilly Willy and then end up with nothing. This is also why Levier gets extra good in this particular format. Ragged Gloves, of course, another good Phantom Knight's name. We have Ash Blossom, which is of course a really good hand trap. Also a level 3, so sometimes you'll just normal summon it together with a level 3 extender to get going. We have the Dangers. Usually I don't like these because they can discard some of our Fusion Destiny Dasher Celestial cards, but we don't run these now, so who cares? And also we just don't have enough quality level 3 extenders. Next we have Psychic, Wielder and tracker these are emergency teleport targets but also level three extenders by themselves and again two level threes is combo stained griefs of course another level three phantom knight name torn scales the best phantom knight and then we get into something a little more controversial maybe and that is the punk package now normally phantom knights has enough level three extenders to completely combo off without anything else however when all of your extenders are being limited to one and all your phantom knight names are being limited to one suddenly I don't know, you're starting to run out. So for that reason, I put in the punk package because of a lot of these punks by themselves are at least gonna be full combo. So we have Madam Spider, which if it's part of the combo, searches you another negate, definitely not bad. And if you have her plus another level three extender, of course it's also combo. And once again, you have an extra negate. So I do think that's worth it, given that it's a level one festival. Of course, in pure Phantom Knights, I wouldn't necessarily run this. I'm also super excited for this because punks and Phantom Knights are like my favorite archetypes right now. Then we have Ziamen, which is the reason this whole thing works. So essentially, if you don't know how, you would normal summon Ziamen. Ziamen would search Foxy Tune. You activate Foxy Tune, discarding itself plus one card. That special summons Madam Spider. Madam Spider searches your trap, and then you're gonna um, link off the Madam Spider plus the Ziamen into the Cherubini, which then searches you Graph, and then you get into the entire combo that you usually do. Alternatively, if you opened just the Ogre Dance, you can discard Ogre dance, search Ziamen, Ziamen, Foxy Toon, Foxy Toon, Madam Spider, and you do the whole combo again. If you opened Foxy Toon, you can discard Foxy Toon, special Ziamen, Ziamen searches Ogre Dance, Ogre Dance, discard, add Madam Spider, normal Madam Spider, and again, you have full combo. So all of these punks, except for Madam Spider, are full combo by themselves and also add the negate. So for that reason, that's worth it to me in this one format where you don't have enough of the PK names and level three extenders. And also, I really like punks. Next, we have Artifact Sight because yes, we can in fact sight lock our opponents in this format. We do not need DPE. We can simply special summon Breaksword to an arrow Rusty is pointing to in our opponent's turn to kill our own sight and that way sight lock them and then we win the game. So then we have Foxy Tune, of course, like I said, part of the whole punk spiel together with Ogre Dance, also part of the punk spiel. Then we have Nibiru, a um, hand trap that often doesn't make a cut, but now that we only have so many hand traps, it does. Monster Reborn, this is basically another level 3 extender in this deck, though you can also use it, you know, to, to revive some of your cuter other stuff. Actually, really solid once you've got your punk stuff going, because we have a lot of level 3 tuners, so if you then revive something like your Foxy Tuner, your Ogre Dance, you know, get your level 3 tuner out, we can actually make an amazing dragon, and that is indeed an amazing dragon. Next, we have Foolish Burial, this can just dump some of your other names 
seems to start extending. Definitely not the greatest in the Limit 1 festival though. Next we have Reinforcement of the Army. This can search your Thorn Scale, which is by itself full combo. It can also search you Junk Forward if you already have, you know, other versions of the combo and if you don't want to, you know, waste a Thorn Scale or a Cloak on, on a Boots search. Then we have Lightning Storm, good enough in this format for sure. Triple Tactics to play through Hand Traps or Break Boards going second. Pot of Prosperity to search some of those powerful one-offs. Emergency Teleport to Special Summon one of our Psychics or one of our Punks. So if you want, you can actually teleport into Ziamen and then do the whole combo that I spoke of earlier. Called by, of course, hand traps are insane. Cross out gets extra good this format because you are playing all the hand traps. Forbidden Droplet, of course, great going second. Wings lets you revive your break sword in your opponent's turn into the Rusty Arrow. Shade Brigadine, this can be the extender of boots into Link Spider to make your Dagda, though actually you don't even need Link Spider for that. I suppose you do need Link Spider to make your access code of the Shade Brigadine. Brigadine, literally just an extender, can be found with both Rusty and Boots. Imperm, solid hand trap. Gabu, again, basically the thing you search of Madam Spider. And then Fog Blade at one now, a very painful. Again, really try to make sure that Wings is the thing you use to revive your Break Sword in the opponent turn, so you at least still have a Fog Blade. For the extra deck, we have Amazing Dragon. Like I said, since we have quite a few level 3 tuners in this deck, think of Ash, think of a Wielder, think of the Punks. It's actually perfectly possible to use our Foxy Tune or our Ogre Dance together with one of those to make an amazing dragon going second and break boards that way. Next we have Levier, the Sea Dragon. Extra good this format, like I mentioned before, because you get to reuse one of your Phantom Knight names. Break Sword, of course, incredible card going second to break boards. Incredible card against Trap Decks to break some of their back row, but also, of course, the way to side lock together with Rusty. Downward Magician, of course, to get a bigger Zeus of your Break Sword. A Raider's Knight usually doesn't make a cut for me, but now that we can't run Verte, DPE, and so forth, and also not like your second Break Sword, it now gets good enough. You know, Raider's Knight together with an Arc Rebellion, pretty decent. Zeus wiping everything. Link Spider to turn our Shade Brigadine or Nibiru Token into an Effect Monster, which is relevant to make access code. Al Mirage, because some of your normal summons turning into Al Mirage is decent, though it doesn't come up that often. Then we have Cherubini, of course, the whole way the deck works is around Cherubini with an IP. This gets better in this deck now that we can't make Verte. Very often we have like two cards just lying there, unable to make something. So then being able to make the IP so we can at least Unicorn in our opponent's turn is still pretty solid. The Dagda, of course, to sidelock our opponent. This is part of the primary combo. Unicorn going second. We have an uh, access code line with Unicorn that's really solid, but of course you also have it with IP. Then we have our Rusty, part of every Phantom Knights combo ever. And then we have the access code, of course, going going second, completely annihilating our opponent. So this is the Phantom Knights deck. I'm super excited for this one. This is probably the thing I'm going to be playing all Limit 1 Festival when I'm actually, you know, trying to get my points. Do let me know your thoughts and your ideas in the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.